day GIS lovers welcome to this new section in where we are going to do advanced hydrological based analysis by using our raster data which is watershed delineation watershed delineation is not only one analysis it is the combination of multiple steps of analysis by using raster data it includes flow direction flow accumulation basin raster calculation and so on so in this section we will do this practically also and before we start this practically obviously we need to understand those analysis because without understanding those steps we will not able to do this in future in our research work this is very important analysis which is being used in urban planning environmental science natural resource and many advanced gis related work in this lecture we will learn what is watershed delineation and we will understand all of those analyses which are being used in watershed delineation after this lecture we will do this watershed delineation practically in our next lecture now let's start the class what is watershed delineation the watershed is simply known as an area that drains surface water from high elevation to low elevation it is defined as an area of land that serves as a catchment for water from the watershed the surface water then enters a common outlet in the form of either a body of water such as lake stream or wetland or it infiltrate into the groundwater the watershed is a hydrologic unit that is used to be modeled as it is considered fundamental to hydrologic designs and it is used to aid in the study of the movement distribution and quality and quantity of water in an area now let's see the purpose of watershed delineation the watershed analysis is a technique essential in the management conservation and planning of the earth's natural resources delineated watershed are required for basins watershed characterization reports so we can characterize and investigate what is going on in one portion of the study area versus another delineation is a part of those process known as watershed segmentation dividing the watershed into discrete land and channel segments to analyze watershed behavior now this is the major portion of watershed delineation steps of this analysis to start this analysis first of all we need elevation raster data then we need to use fill analysis on our this elevation raster data after that our next step is flow direction after doing flow direction we need to do two separate types of analysis by using the output of flow direction one is flow accumulation and another one is identify basin after identifying basin we need to do raster to polygon conversion then clip polygon of study area now let's jump to our previous step of flow accumulation after doing flow accumulation we need to use raster calculation after that raster to polyline conversion then we need to clip those polyline features by using our clip polygon of study area then combine these two clip feature polyline and polygon and get the final output and as a extra you can use hill shade for better presentation we will learn this also and we will do this practically also now let's understand all of these steps elevation raster data to start watershed delineation first of all definitely we need a surface map having elevation values this elevation raster data is a type of continuous raster data obviously our study area should be this type of elevated surface otherwise it will be difficult to do watershed delineation in a flat surface here is an example of elevation raster data which we are going to use in our next lecture to do watershed delineation practically fills sinks in a surface raster to remove small imperfections in the data so this is our first analysis on elevation raster map to prepare this for watershed delineation with 100% accuracy
Our next analysis is flow direction, which creates a raster of flow direction from each cell to its downslope neighbor or neighbors. We are going to use our previous field output for this analysis and result will be like this image. This flow direction output will be used in two separated types of steps. One is flow accumulation and another one is identify basin. Basin, also known as catchment area or watershed area from which all precipitation flows to a single stream or set of streams. This analysis will create a raster delineating all drainage basins. For this purpose, we will use the output of previous flow direction analysis by using basin tool from arc toolbox. We will get the result same as like this image. Now our next step is to use the output of basin which is raster layer and convert this as polygon feature by using raster to polygon tool from arc toolbox. Then the output will be like this. Then choose the study area from previous output of raster to polygon conversion and clip this area from that polygon layer. In this analysis, we have used this red mark area in below image. Next, we have to do flow accumulation analysis by using the output of our previous flow direction analysis. This analysis creates a raster of accumulated flow into each cell. After doing flow accumulation, the result will be like this image. Now we need to calculate the accumulated flow in the raster output from flow accumulation. For this purpose, we need to use raster calculator from Arc Toolbox. It builds and executes a single map algebra expression using Python syntax in a calculator-like interface. In this case, the expression will be as below. Flow SSE.tif is greater than 500. It means calculate those cells from flows inside flow SSE.tif raster layer in where the cell value is greater than 500. In here, the file name of flow accumulation output is flow SSE.tif. It will calculate those flows and the output will be like this image. Then convert this flow output from raster calculation as polyline feature and get this result. Now use our study area polygon feature to clip this flow output polyline features. Congratulations! Then here is our final output of watershed delineation of study area after clip. For better presentation, we can add hillshade of our main elevation data and present this with increasing transparency level as 50 or above. Then we will get this attractive and realistic output. So here is our watershed delineation output. Now let's do all of this analysis practically in our next lecture to get this attractive result of watershed delineation. It's